going on a cruise offers travelers an opportunity to experience different ports while enjoying luxury accommodations on water. But if you've never planned a cruise, Lorraine Simpson has some very helpful tips to consider. People get nervous about cruises because, well, for a lot of reasons. If you've never tried one, what if I get motion sick? How much do I pack? All of that information can be tough. So you've got some secrets for us, starting with know your ship. Yes. I mean, you have to really know what type of cruise type of person you are yes. because it's very personal. You know, you really have to know the right cruise. Your travel agent should be able to match you with the type of cruise for your personality. Mm -hmm. There's no point sending somebody who likes their own time quiet and everything on a giant ship with 5,000 people. No. So I love river cruises. I mean, we go with Massimo yes. on the river cruises. We're doing uh, the Mekong and Little Cruise. It's only got uh, it's only got like 50 cabins, so it's really, oh, really wow. intimate. Up to thousands of people on a big ship. So it's really personal. Yeah. Your travel agent needs to interview you. Yes. Really find out what it is about you and when, where you will enjoy, what you'll like, and match you with the right cruise. Okay, that's good. Second tip? Yes. Next tip, cross pack. Okay, what does that mean? It means, you know, you don't want your luggage to go missing. No. And who knows, these days, Really, it's a good idea to cross pack. If you have two suitcases going onto the same plane, mm -hmm. half of your stuff in this suitcase, half of your stuff mm -hmm. in this suitcase, but don't forget to keep the things that you need out. Mm -hmm. Because if you're going on one of the bigger ships, you may not get your luggage till after dinner. Yes. So keep a change of clothes, keep your bathing suit out, yeah. baby formula, mm -hmm. your medication, anything that you're gonna use that you need, make sure it's in your hand luggage and enjoy the pool you know take your hand luggage along change into your bathing suit bring a wrap with you yeah. go and enjoy you know yeah and don't worry about it and your luggage will come later on a lot of people are surprised by that yes. you don't get your luggage right away because it's a lot of luggage for them to handle yes. Um, yes, you also yes, say yes. book your flight and your cruise together yes very important because if you're in an area where there are you're prone to bad weather mm -hmm. let's say it's in the winter time if you book your cruise and the air together with the cruise line it's their responsibility to get you there mm -hmm. so if the flights are cancelled and you know sometimes there's a lot of flights cancelled mm -hmm. it's their responsibility to get you there good so if you miss the first bit they're gonna have to get you onto that ship okay. and uh, maybe yeah. the second port they'll get you that's there it. though that's their and it's their money not your money okay good so that is a really big thing um, the other thing you say is allow enough time to make it back to the ship yes I've seen Have this go seen wrong it? by the way I've seen don't this go leave wrong me, don't leave. we've seen it right yes. people are on the shore and they're being left so the way that you can prevent that is yeah. make sure that you allow well well enough time to get back to the ship but if you do an excursion through the cruise company and something goes wrong again it's their responsibility right. they'll hold the ship but if you've gone off to the beach at the other side of the island and you've taken a taxi, no, oh, we're fine. We got a little extra time. You're not going to get on that ship. Right. So make sure that you either allow yourself enough time or yeah. you book your excursion with the cruise company. And it's up to them. If something goes wrong, it's up to them to, to do that. 